Hello my friends, today's video is about restoring and I don't know whether you know, some of you do my friends, but I do restore my things on my own, whatever I purchase I restore and I have uh, committed myself using only the most natural ingredients and materials and uh, following guidelines that professional restorers do. Now, I have already uh, cleaned this area here. It was covered with this bluish black pigment, which I had good reason for removing. Why do I say this? Well, the reason I'm saying this is that, first of all, we have a gap here. We have some serious damage in the surface. And the damaged area was covered with bluish pigment, as you can see. So this cannot be something original of the period. A second thing, which is perhaps the most important of all, is that we have the name Agios, which in Greek means um, saint, and it is written in naive lettering. And here we have the name of a saint, George, and you still can see the Omega Underneath it, though, there were calligraphic Byzantine lettering in red. So we have our second major reason for cleaning this. A third would be that the bluish pigment overlaps the uh, cape and even the body of a saint. Now, if these were not good reasons for uh, cleaning the whole area, what is? I have started cleaning this area using alcohol. I had to be more aggressive uh, in order to achieve total cleaning. I haven't cleaned the damaged area completely so that I can actually show you people what I meant. I haven't cleaned the Omega lettering for the same reason. I have left it on the right, on the left, I'm sorry, on the left, so that uh, you can actually uh, watch for yourself uh, the difference and how unfitting this bluish pigment is to the rest of the... Uh, icon. You see here it overlaps again and even though that uh, the face of the saint here and the clothing is so delicately executed, the pigment is so abruptly applied. You see what I mean by overlapping here? This is not good. Here, which we have original painting, going on, I try to clean it using a mild soap with lukewarm water, mm, not just any water, but the kind of water you use for ironing, uh, and it does work actually, and um, it needs even more cleaning and a second time perhaps later on but I need to first uh, cover the entire area because it's pretty dirty yeah, the wood is rather heavy and I like the synthesis I like the composition the composition is superb it reminds me and I want to say this it reminds me of uh, 
a very famous painting that depicts Napoleon the Great. And it does remind me the whole posture of the, of the horse. On the other hand, I can tell you this. This kind of horse is not a Greek horse. The icon may be Greek, but this kind of horse is of a mannerist style, not a Greek Byzantine style horse. So we have mixed conditionals here, which means because I'm a teacher of English, uh, which means mixed methods. Mm, the whole thing is a big puzzle. Uh, uh, the depiction is also partially Byzantine. Everything is in accordance here, meaning the figure, and partially Italian, early Renaissance. What can I say? We can just say that, you know, we speak about influences in art and stop that at that point and you know be content as well now um here we can see how it overlaps again uh, on the right side of the saint the whole uh, pigment overlaps the arm of the saint and how well executed are those lines on the left and how delicately the whole thing is executed even the face now is more clear so we have a duality clearly when it comes to the pigment and the actual icon that was all i had to say uh, I will come back to this with a new video.